Okay, let's take a look at this Amco drum mic. This is the metric one. Um, first thing you're going to notice when you see one of these, you pick one of these up, is one side of this bar has odd numbers on it. The other one, other side, has even numbers on it. So if you're working with a drum that is, an, uh, say, 21 centimeters, you would look at the odd side here, set this bar here on a 21, and then you'd set this one here on a 21. Both these numbers need to be the same, 21 and a 21. And then we would go from there to measure it. If your drum was a 24, we would then use this other side. Set this guy on 24, this one on 24, and now we've got a good base measurement. If we set this on 24, and it's not big enough, we have to move these arms out one click at a time. Each click is worth two millimeters. Okay, so if I have two clicks on here, we've got four more millimeters we have to have add on to it. So let's do an easy number. We're gonna set this guy at 30. So he's at 30 right there, spot on on that side. And this side here, we're gonna look for 30. Perfect. Now I've got him on 30, okay? so. Let's say this is just a little too small. There's some room in there. I've got to extend it a little farther so this dial will hit and spin around, okay? I'm going to loosen this guy up a little bit, and I'm going to move him out just a few clicks. That was three clicks, okay? So now I'm at 30 centimeters, and I did three clicks. So I'm at 30 centimeters and six millimeters, or... 306 millimeters. Let's move our decimal over. It's metric math, which is really quite easy. Okay, so once I've done that and I've got it real close, this plunger should retract as I put it in the drum. And then we're going to read these numbers right here for that. Okay, so now we've got the dial here in front of us. And let's say we have our main portion of our mic. Um, set up to be, let's just do it for simple math, let's just say there's 30 centimeters across here. I think we had 30.6 a second ago, but um, let's just go ahead and run off of 30 centimeters across here. So 300 millimeters or 30 centimeters. Okay, that's where we're at. Now let's look at what this guy does here. And I'm hoping we can see him fairly clearly. You're going to see a 1, a 2, and then a three. I get the glare off of here. There's a three right here. All right. That is the number of millimeters that you will uh, add to the number on the beam. So one millimeter, two millimeters, three millimeters. So if I had this set at 30 centimeters, my dial would be exactly zero. That would be 30 centimeters and one millimeter, one and a half millimeters two millimeters and you get the picture there's three um, i add those because the drum size the diameter is bigger as i move my plunger out i know to add those numbers if i push the plunger in meaning a smaller diameter drum i would go this way and subtract the numbers okay okay we talked about how to run this goofy thing now let's go ahead and actually just go ahead and do one so i can demonstrate it to you to get clear down to that final number that we're looking at looking at this drum maximum diameter 282.3 millimeters i wrote it down here just so we can keep track of it so 282.3 millimeters or 28.23 centimeters so 28.2 which is 28 centimeters and two millimeters right something more in there two millimeters and then 0.3 of that so let's look at this thing and figure out how to measure it the first number we see is 28 let's get this guy set on 28 and if you remember we've got even numbers on one side and odd on the other so this is my even side that's great i want to find my 28 on here which is right here i'm going to put him on 28 right there snug it up just just gently I want to find my 28 on the other side, and my 28 is right here, right there. Snug him down. Now we know we need two more millimeters, all right? 
I've got 28 centimeters. I've got to add two more millimeters anyway. That's my minimum. So let's see where we're at. Let's put that plunger in. And yeah, we're not even touching. Even close. This drum's going to be way too big. But let's go ahead and go through it anyway. Let's go ahead and move two more clicks, which is going to give me two millimeters per click. It's going to give me four more. So one, two, and snug it down. Let's see where we're at. So we're at 28. Not there yet. We're going to need one more. So right now we're at 28 point. We did two clicks, which is four. We're going to add one more here in just a second. Now I'm at 28.6. Now we're getting snug. Okay, we can live with that. Good number to start with. That's a good base number. So we have 28 centimeters plus 6 millimeters, if you want to look at it that way. Okay, or 286 millimeters. That's our number so far which we know we're way out of limits, but we're going to read this anyway. I'm going to take this guy and hold him steady right here, and I'm going to pinch him this way, and I'm going to look for my largest number by sweeping it across here. My biggest number is 1 point, looks like 3. So I have another 1.3 millimeters to add on to this. So I have 2, 8, 7, Point three millimeters in this drum 287 I'm only supposed to have 282 this is telling me that this drum needs to be discarded 